everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button guys. Remember to share to everyone that you like, everyone that you don't like. You get me? Sharing is caring. Share your boy Ivory Spice. Boom. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I knew it, I knew it. Today guys, unfortunately, it's Manchester United nil. Manchester City 2, another semi-final defeat and for the fourth time. And you think we can catch a break for the third time at least. First time's a chance, but the fourth time should be a definite, guys. But today, in that semi-finals, we lost. Come on, guys. We just can't catch a break. We just can't catch a break, guys. We just can't catch a break. You would think that, oh, Today's the day that we think that Oli and the boys can rectify last season's semi-finals of just defeats. But nah, nah, just can't do that. Why can't you do that, Manchester United? And just, just to go out like that against Man City, those pagans, those ups. <sighs> oh my God, man. It's just frustrating, frustrating. I'm just pissed off. I'm pissed off. But yeah, yeah, yeah. What can we say? What, what, what can we really do, guys? Manchester United have blown it again. You just have to. Just have to. We needed to rectify last season's mistake. And we just couldn't do that. We just couldn't. I'm just sat here and just like all of you Manchester United fans thinking, those noisy neighbours again, just yapping, yapping, getting louder every match that we play against them. Like, it's just annoying. Frustrating. Let's go straight into that first half, guys. Because in that first 13 minutes, of course, Manchester City having most of the ball. We saw Kevin DeFraud take a shot. And of course, hitting the post. Me as well, I'm there, I'm just sitting there watching it. And I've just shouted to myself when Kevin DeFraud was just about to shout. I just I just said go. And the guy just hit the post. I thought to myself, I've already spies, what the hell are you thinking? Wishing bad upon your own team, saying go when Kevin De Bruyne shoots, saying go when Kevin De Fraud takes a shot. How dare you? At that moment, there I just thought to myself, dear Manchester United, I have sinned against you. Forgive me, Manchester United. I just don't know what I was thinking, but I had to slap myself real quick right there, you know. But yes, that first half was just garbage, bruv. Just pure garbage, bro. And when I say garbage, because that we had opportunities to just take the lead against Man City. But now, nah, Bruno Fernandes, once again, giving the ball away. I love Bruno, just like all of you guys. But not all the time, you can just keep constantly giving the ball away. And, and just making the wrong decisions. Today was an awful game for Bruno Fernandes. You guys got to admit it, because I am admitting that. Bruno Fernandes was pants today. Pure pants. And then bloody hell, in a set piece, I can't believe we can see the goal from a stone. John Stone! A stone! A stone! A stone! I know they say sticks and stones may break my bones, but Jesus, Jesus. John Stone, we can see the goal from a stone! A stone, guys! Just a stone! He was just lucky. I asked myself, what the hell was going on with that defence? From a set piece again. With this zonal marking, I'm tired of zonal marking. Just mark your man. Mark your man, guys. And only if you're teaching this, what the F are you doing? Trust me, what the hell are you doing with this zonal marking, Oli? And it's costing us. It cost us today. And of course, it was poor defending from the rest of the guys. Especially having so much, so much defenders there. So many defenders there. But yet, yeah, we concede a goal. And then, of course, Manchester United just sealing their fate, sealing their defeat against Manchester City, conceding a goal. A great strike by Fernandinho. Of course, we couldn't do nothing to stop it. He struck the ball cleanly. What can Henderson do about it? Absolutely nothing, guys. He can just he can't do anything about that. So, of course, it was full time. We, we lost that game. Narrowly to Man City. Whatever we can say, we fluffed it. We bluffed it. We missed our chance. We missed out. You get me, bruv. That's all I've got to say today with Manchester United's defeat against those noisy neighbours. Those scumbags of City fans, bro. It's going to be yapping at us. But to be fair, there's no... I the funny thing about losing to Man City. 
I don't feel it because there's no Man City fans where I work. There's no Man City fans that I know of in London. Like, there's just no Man City fans at all. They just disappeared. In fact, you think that they were in the Avengers Endgame where they, half of their what's it called, fans just disappeared. You would think that. Like, Thanos just came out of nowhere. Manchester City! And most of their fans just, just, just no. That's why we call it the empty hat. They're just empty. So it won't hurt none of you Manchester United fans. Even you Man United fans that live in Manchester. You won't hear it from them, bruv. They, 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 they're, they're invisible. They're not, they're not existing. Where are their fans? Just where? Where? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So there's nothing to worry about, guys. We just have to just take this defeat on the chin and then just keep it on. Keep moving, guys. That's all I've got to say. But my donkey of the match today, because there's definitely no man in the match, got to be Bruno Fernandes, guys. You, you, you can shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me now. I don't care. There has to be a day when Bruno probably has to get it because a lot of times he gave the ball away and I wasn't pleased with that. Especially when it was in dangerous areas, yeah, in the final third, he just gave it away just easily, just sloppy, too quick at times. Sometimes just wait, man. Calm toi. Tranquille, Bruno. Tranquille. Jeez. But yeah, guys, we... That's my donkey of the match. I just don't care. Come at me. I don't care, bro. Because Bruno Fernandes was cabbage today, bro. Just pure cabbage. Manchester United fans, like I said before, just take it on the chin. You know, take it on the chin. We move on. Let's just forget about it like it was men in black with that toy. Pew! It never happened, okay? That's why I always want to skip Man City games. I wish I could just wake up the following day, take a full day of sleep, 24 hours, wake up the next day and be like, Yo, what happened, man? I, I, man, man, you know how I play Man City? No, uh, bro. No, bro. You was asleep the whole day. You missed out, man. I mean, that's exactly the type of shit I want to go through. Skip button, you know? Just like your music tracks. Skip. That's exactly how I wanted to experience my Man City games. Especially in the past. But today, it was okay. Yeah, but we could have won. We could have scored some chances. We had similar amount of attempts, Manchester United fans. So we can't be upset too tough, you know. But then again, we missed out on the semi-final. So, of course, those who are upset, I understand. But we move on, you know. You get me? It's 21 in 2021, you know, as they say. Many guys, thank you for listening, you know. I know you, I know you guys are probably pissed off right now thinking, nah, man, screw this, man. Now, like, how can we lose the semi-finals? Like, nah, 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 I can't take this. I, I just can't take this. But now, nah, calm down, calm down, tranquille. Just like I wanted to tell what's his name, Bruno, tranquille, man. Come to it. Whatever language you speak, Portuguese, I know you understand the French and the Spanish at the same time. So, you you, got, you get me. You understand. As I said before, Bashi Dai fans, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Smash that like button, guys. Remember to share. Tell your man them, your girl them, you know, your relatives, everyone. Your relative them, you know, your cousin them, you know. That I've always been is, is within the scene of the YouTube. You get me, bro. But anyway, guys. Remember to follow the socials as well. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United, which is Red United TV One, baby. And also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, of course, my personal account is Ivorian underscore Spice. Same with the Twitter and also the Snapchat. So get to adding, get to following, get to subscribing, guys. And of course, as usual, Manchester United fans, chin up and remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it Red United. Peace out.